and I am back in the house. With all the clickety clacks and the buttons and the bleepity bloops. And I'm trying to figure out where the freaking pepper is. I found out that I could pick these up and use them, but I don't know which one is pepper. Thank you for participating. See you next summer. Okay. Cheese, milk, oats, sesame oil, peanut nuts. Pine nuts. Ah, so... Oh, wait. That's cash voucher. Well, crap. Water, brew, butter, rice, milk, salt. Which one of these is salt? Well, oh, shit. I ain't I in a pickle now. Oh, can I get dried root from up here somewhere? I don't know all this stuff hanging. Like onions that looks like onions and garlic. Okay, we're gonna check the walls just in case there's some, you know, some stuff hanging. Okay, I don't know what this is. Uh, what? What's? Excuse me. What's this? I would like to know what this is. Throw it in the corner of stuff that we don't know what it is, but we should keep an eye on. Okay, there's a hat. My guess is it's a satchel. A lot of people may be like, well, no shit, it's a satchel. Well, it's not that apparent to me. I'm sorry. Dirty bottles. What is this? What what is this? Is this is this a grinding tool? Is this for a mortar and pest pestle? That is. Let's keep them next to each other. Nope, oh, but I can drop it next to it, which is the next best thing. Big pot. Just throwing all the shit all over the floor. Oh, dear God, I gotta do an enemy my mo thing for the, that. But first things first, find the dry, find the root, dried root, so I can grind it up. Doesn't particularly say where I can find dried root though. Is this another battery? Let's put it in the barrel here, so I close enough. Bucket. Rebar. You know, I'm also going to put the other battery over here. That way I free up some inventory space. I got three slots now. It's all wired up. A solar panel. No, no, no. Oh, I thought I was dropping it. Come on. Come on. Um. Why not now? 
What's this? Is this like a chalkboard or something? Nope, just a lid. I guess at some point this solar panel is going to be needed. Let's put you right here so I know where you're at. Next to the batteries. Can I pick you up? I cannot pick you up. You are permanently fixated to the ground. Can I get dried root from here? Another battery! I'm gonna have a regular smorgasbord of batteries. I don't know. I'm not even gonna start to guess because I don't know. That's how much. I do. I'm just out there. I don't know. Why is there a hole in this shirt? With what looks like a plastic. Oh, what do you know? Bad root. Prepare breakfast for ungots. Heat the furnace with a few wooden logs and a sheet of paper. Wake up. Uh, which now starts the eeny meeny miny mo thing. I have no idea which one of these is freaking salt. Yeah, the note says to the right, like, like Grandpa Bajin instructed to the right. I know that the mortar and pestle is somewhere in here. It's right here. Oh yeah! Fucking genius. That's what I am. Again, add salt to the water. The water will turn orange. Are you gonna tell me I'm gonna have to restart this every time I fuck up? Well, if I do fuck up the first time, which is highly likely, by the way, uh, we're going to just restart. So I know it can't be that one, because it has to be to the right of something. So it's one of these four. So, I don't think that's that. That's too long. So it has to sound one, two, and three. It's one of these three. So I'm going to choose the middle one. All right. Uh, excuse me? Get that up. Uh, two, cut, add two cut palm groups that grow nearby the lake. One. 
too. Uh, excuse me. Is that orange? It looks like orange. Please tell me that's orange. I don't want to have to go through this again. Oh, dear God. Oh, come on! There's got to be a better way to do this then. Hope for the best and... Just put this right here. We're not going to use that. So we haven't used this one, and come on, pick it up. Just fuck it. It's on the ground. Just got to remember it's on the ground. I don't want the fucking cup then. Can I pick up a bowl? Doesn't mean I have to add two two like uh like two whole fruits Maybe that's what i got wrong my guess is that wasn't the salt that's definitely not the salt. There we go, that's definitely the salt. Now, technically it's to the right. goes here. So who am I waiting for? Whoa! Big bird. No, the game isn't slow. That's just how slow he's flying. Oh, the game's slow. I just dropped 10 FPS just because of a bird. That is a big fucking bird, though. Hold on, goods. Enjoy. I fucked up twice. I hope you don't notice. on its vest. Put that shit over there. Uh, where's his vest? There it is. What's that in his chest? It looks weird. Find an application for the number. Alright, let's pick this SOB up. 
2053. Back in the corner. Where's your iPad? Yes. Enter password 20 Babylon 2053. Access greedy. Okay, okay. Oh, excuse me. Access granted. Okay. I've got I got a journal now. Thanks to Tan Baha. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I butcher any names in here. My name is Enbish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Bachin says lots of people who used to live around here, they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since, aside for myself, Bachin, and Angats. Angats has very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. Oh, this is me talking. Continuing. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered vest. Like in that program about the greenhouses. It keeps on guts warm during the day. And when the night's chill arrives, I put him into another warm vest. I collect and digitize digi I collect and digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make photocopies of them. Tan Tabaha then takes him into the town and sells them. The earnings keeps him afloat while grandpa and I buy cheese. Alright. We've got a new ge genometer. It measures everything, flowers, insects, people. It clocks watching at 47, and the tree by the gate at 24. But even the stool got but even the stool got measured. Though that took a little little longer, but when aimed at Ongutz or myself, it still shows as some old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day, the day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation. Like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can never remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin. It makes me want to go there, to that town. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what? There was something there. I guess not. Grandpa Bachin has died. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tanba even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried out the spot he he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness, like before. I want to find that town from my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body. In Ulan ba Bator. Too bad the geom gen genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous that it is. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy an odd little space case. Angats had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw Dwarf dark swirls in the field. Got scared and stashed it, stashed the toys away for some reason. To make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as, as the crow. On a rock with the snag, look for an arrow. 
A sorrowful tree will show you the way. Uh, a box in the sand will a mystery will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. Straight as the crow, rock with the snag, look for an arrow, a sorrowful tree will show you the way. out of the yurt. Plus trade. So I fade as the arrow. I mean, as the crow. So now we're looking for a rock with a snag. So we're going to be running for a little while. Is this a rock with a snag? I'm traveling straight as I can go. Look for an arrow. Oh, crap. It's going to make me go really far, isn't it? All right. That does look like it's pointing, but I think that's just me wanting it to be fast rather than the actual thing I'm looking for. Well, if I get super lost and it's like, you can't go any further, um, I'll, I'll probably pause the video until I get back to the yurt. I doubt I have to go way out there. I don't think you can. But we're going to try. I think this might be the edge. No. I wonder how far the edge is. Pretty sure I passed up the rock that I'm supposed to find. I mean, this is sh straight from the yurt. See, there's the yurt right there in the center. I thought this kid was really brave. I thought this guy was really brave as a kid, just to you know, wander off into nowhere. Some rocks over here. But I don't see an arrow. And this is not straight from the earth. I mean, technically, I guess it could be straight from the earth. Well, we're at tw almost 25 minutes now. And, uh, ooh, trees. And I have found Jack, Diddly, and Squat. So, I will be back next time. I'll see you guys around. This is Boogeyman, signing off.